today's video is about my version of biochar. Now, you'll probably remember my previous video where I cleared off this land here and stored it and seeded it. And as a result of that, I was left with a rather large pile of white thorn, briars, some sally, and a variety of other smaller trees. And what I done is I sawed the bulk of the timber out of them. This was the spot on where they were all sited. And um, when I had all that done, I burnt the remainder in a controlled fashion. Now, the reason I burned it in a controlled fashion um, was to try and get carbon. Um, the whole idea was to produce a carbon that I can bring into the shed. And when it's put in for the cattle are over time that it can be with the bacteria it's in the um, urine and in the um, soiling of the, of the cattle the manure. Um, it's amazing here what happens when ash and carbon is left. I reseeded this, I threw some seed on it, and it's amazing the grass that grew on it was unbelievable because uh, I suppose the carbon has helped the soil. You know, it's pretty ploughed because the cattle ploughed it in the wet spell there. But it grew very, very strong grass a couple of weeks after that, which was uh, no problem to have grass growing on it. Again, all of these bushes here remain to be sawed up and actually brought away. But there's about a ton in this bag here. Now there are different grades obviously and qualities of, of biochar or of char, let's call it charcoal. Um, if you were to do it uh, in an industrial way it would be of a higher quality. There'll be some ash and there'll be some par burnt um, pieces in this. But it serves the one purpose, put it in under the cattle and then put it out on the land when you're putting out the farmyard manure and that will add carbon to the soil. It'll aid carbon capture, it'll aid plant root development and it'll aid fertility in the soil. So it's one good byproduct of something that was only going to be waste. Um, and now we can use it to more productive purposes on the farm. So that's my version of biochar.